Hi, my name is David, and I'm the leader of the Bridge, which is Canada's newest federal party. I'm especially glad that you took the time to talk about matters that are important to you, because the Bridge Party is really a party about you. It's a party about the not-so-distant future when you will take leadership positions, vote, and shape the world in general, and our country in particular. When I say that our party is about the future, I really mean it. I mean that the bridge wants to change the entire way that democracy works in Canada. We believe that the party system is an old and tired system and should be replaced with a new one that invites people to take part in developing policies and approaches before they are asked to vote. We call our system Democracy 3.0, and when it gets going, Canada will become an even better place than it is now. It will become a model for all the other nations who will hopefully fit our system to suit their needs. Our system has five steps to it. In order to help you understand how it works, I want to briefly take you through each of the five steps. Okay, step one. When the bell rings to declare that election season is on, Elections Canada will announce that the first candidate to be elected is, say, the Ministry of Immigration. Notice that what I am saying is that in Democracy 3.0, we will not be voting for one party or another. We will not be talking about everything at the same time. Instead, we will be talking about one department and electing one minister, and when that election is over, we will be electing another minister until we are finished electing all 10 or 15 ministries. The first time we do this, it may take a whole year to elect all the ministries. People will, of course, have to keep on working at the same time, but hopefully many people will find the time to be engaged. Okay, so going back to step one, Elections Canada announces that we are now about to elect the Ministry of Immigration. And that triggers a big national conversation everywhere, in schools and in community centers and in homes. People start thinking about the subject of immigration. They will be thinking about how much they want Canada to grow over the next little while, how many refugees we should invite in, where these refugees will work, where they will go to school, where they will live. Canadians may want to consider learning some of the languages that these refugees speak so as to make them feel more at home when they arrive. Some Canadians, including some younger Canadians, may even want to travel to refugee camps, speak to the refugees directly about what they want and what they expect, tell the rest of the countries about their experiences. Step two. Canadians will start sending their ideas and opinions and concepts about immigration to a data center which will organize the information and present it online. In step three, the public conversation and consultation is over. Now, Elections Canada calls for proposals. Let's imagine that there are four or five teams wanting to run the Ministry of Immigration. Each team will have to go through the information, put together a comprehensive proposal, and submit it before a deadline. Step four is elections. From amongst the four or five proposals, each one of us gets to choose the one that we think would work best for the country. That is how the team which will run the Ministry of Immigration will be chosen. Once we have chosen the Minister of Immigration, we go on to choose the Minister of Industry, who will help young entrepreneurs realize their dreams. Then we maybe will choose the Ministry of the Environment, who will undoubtedly have to put forward a big plan that would deal with fossil fuels. Each proposal will have milestones, which means it will say exactly how long it will take to implement the proposed program. It'll have a budget, meaning exactly how much a program will cost, a list of people, managers, and representatives from all parts of the country who will be part of this or that team. 
Elections Canada will also appoint an independent review committee which will spell out exactly what will happen if this or that team does not get the work done on time or on budget. Step 5. The last step is to elect a Prime Minister whose office will take care that all the separate ministers work well together. The Prime Minister will also represent Canadians abroad. This is the brand new system that the bridge wants to put in place. Our job is to persuade the country that it is better than the system we have in place right now. That is what we believe. Please, go to our website, write to me, tell me what you think, and help me make Canada a model for the whole new world. Your world. Hope to hear from you, and thanks so much. Bye-bye.